is a good lesson too for the customer in really doing your own work would be one lesson. Uh, the second one would be that this ignition problem used to be an intermittent miss that became a constant miss when they were done. Um, this has nothing to do with the previous work that was done. Zero, nothing. Even though you came back with a misfire, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, this has nothing to do with it. And so video evidence here, the time spent for the technician to walk through this, he may have used some different techniques and different steps, could have been quicker through it. We're teaching, you gotta remember that. You know, we could have come under the hood and started unplugging coils and figure out, okay, it's cylinders two and three and did the test we did on the scanner and know right away it's not a fuel issue, attack the ignition system and maybe found the answer quickly. Even so, that technician should be paid for his time. This is not a comeback. This is not a comeback. We have video ev evidence to prove it. Watch my part one and part two videos on this car right here on YouTube. Gas direct injection system with stuck open fuel injectors. It is back with an ignition problem. And that ignition problem was even worse after the ignition components were replaced because they were not re replaced properly. The technician should get paid again. The garage should get paid again. We don't work for free. And this is not ripping off the customer. It's getting paid for your knowledge. I make no apologies for that.